So just I just wanted to do a quick recap because like it's basically like two months we are working on that. So congratulations everyone. Uh, that we are still three. <laughs> um, so uh, what we have seen so far, we have seen that the package can have value states. I, I, I didn't wasn't aware of that. And uh, like from source, that it will be built. Uh, I mean, it can be compressed, then build, that it will be uh, it, uh, put into binary, then it will be installed, and then it will be loaded in binary. So if you reminder, just quick reminder. So when you check, when you browse some GitHub pages, a lot of time it's from source and it's not have been built. So it makes sense that's what you have in your computers, not necessarily the same. Uh, we focused a lot on having a good workflow with frequent tests and documentation. And now that I have tried the package, try like the DevTools uh, function with like the check document and everything like that. Uh, I can say like, it's very easy to go into a mindset. Like I implement something, I test it, restart air, load everything. And I even think like with Air Studio, I will build myself, you know, a small job. So let's do everything. So I can just click on the job and you will run it and I can do other stuff. But yeah, it's super easy to do. And uh, uh, if you are afraid of doing it, do not hesitate. I hello for me. Hope you are not, I didn't wake you up. Um, so uh, build time versus run time, just a quick reminder, like, because what most of the people, what they get is the binary. The binary is built by cron except of uh, Linux operating system. So uh, if some of your function include like some call at the time where it's built, uh, it will affect your, your package and function. So don't remember that's the difference between when the function is run or when it's built. Um, we learn how and where store air code, mostly in the air file. Also, um, I, I wasn't totally understand that before starting a package, but like, yeah, use our oxygen uh, close to your function documents with it. And it's it's just like you basically like use this air oxygen's um, square bracket, square stuff with the, uh, I do not remember the, the name of it and put your stuff and it will build basically automatically. And I, it's very neat. Uh, and it also makes sense to build the documentation around the function. So it's, I think it makes your life easier to not have like a separate documentation and the function, but to have everything around the same place. Um, I'm not too sure um, on the util.r script where you put your utility function and stuff like that. So I will have to progress on that issue. And oh, we have also see oh, and where to store data. So as our data can be raw in RDA, that RDA or that RDS, or it can be like on some particular raw file. And just like remember in the raw data, you have like a file code named dataset.r where you can expand on all the data was processed. That's it. Uh, what we'll see today so and later, so we'll see what is nice to be aware of inside of a package because there are others and the man, air dot, um, the, uh, the, the directory that's called man, uh, dear, uh, air, sorry. Um, what's the other one we have seen so far? Uh, R, man, uh, slowly that's R and that's it. Uh, a data row, data and data row. This is the whole directory we have seen, but there is no other places in this uh, in the package that we should be aware, but the book will not expand too much on them. Uh, we'll see also what's called package metadata, mostly the description file and namespace files. Later on, there will be like specific bunch of chapters on manage the, so we'll see like three chapter on package metadata. So the description and namespace as a specific one, but we will have one on dependency and one on license. Then a group of chapter on testing. Finally, last one on documentation and then maintenance. So to in this, the goal of this chapter, just getting acquainted with other parts, maybe uh, of some air package. So one directory you can see is the source or SRC directory, which 
uh, usually like will contain every kind of, if you are like compiling other kind of codes and R, it should have that and the header file. The header file, like, I do not know if you have like work in C or in C++, but when you work in C and C++, you call like your dependency at the header and they, 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 they usually call that hash file. So this is, and you probably, you apparently uh, you need them to have them for uh, for CRAN so they can compile it. Uh, most of the time uh, here, the, so this is important. This is an important directory, but the author said this is, this will need another book. So they will not expand on it. They recommend you us to packages as are the C++ 11 package, which is developed, which is used in the tidyverse package or the RCPP uh, package. Um, that's it. Uh, the inst, we already have seen it. So we already see it like, for example, when is ex external data uh, in the previous chapters. And today we'll, uh, we'll know like, how we can add the citation file that will uh, help us like, uh, make our package uh, a, a low citation for our package. So citation is like a function in R, like if you tap citation square bracket, uh, so just citation with the, the bracket, uh, the, the, the function, like do not remember the parentheses, it will uh, cite uh, R. And if you do like citation, uh, um, let's say uh, open, um, this is based R, so no, no, not ID evaluation, you need like to, you no know, lazy evaluation, you need like to, uh, the package needs to be like string. So it need like to be quoted. Let's say like citation, uh, quote, tidyverse quote, it will uh, provide you the full citation for uh, the tidyverse. If you want like to do that citation um, and you probably, probably export it into bib text. I haven't checked it if you need like it for Zotero or also like, uh, or bib tech, LaTeX if you need it. Anyway, tools. Uh, we'll see that, so I will go later on to it. Uh, demo, uh, apparently it's a legacy, it's a legacy uh, phenomenon where you use it like to add like some demo parts of what you wanted to do. No, most of the people are using readme and vignette, which will be like in the docs file. We'll see that later. But it still exists like in some old package. They can include demo, which will probably like some code uh, or, um, or stuff to generate HTML to uh, have demonstration. I did not ex understand exactly what exit was. Uh, it's supposed to be executable scripts and they were supposed to be flagged as executable. So I do not understand that. Maybe you have better guess than I. And apparently, currently people prefer inst to do that now. So it's still, I will say it's not mandatory, but it still exists. And then PO, which uh, uh, it's used to translate, like if you have error message, or if you are like, um, uh, like if you are using as a package that generates error message and you are passing this error message through your function, uh, you, you should use this PO uh, document and the author like recommend uh, PO tool as a package to help you manage this translation. Okay, so this is a typo. So this is install file and not install field. So uh, remember everything into inst will be installed at, in the top level directory. So here I have a, a quick example with, let's say like I have a directory Bob inside my inst bob in the source version of my package. When the users have it in the ver installed version, bob will be at the root of the project of the package. So that's why you shouldn't use subdirectory inside of inst. That's uh, have another top level directory, let's say data, because it will conflict with the data directory that is on the top level of the package. So, and also remember like when you are playing with the link, when you are playing with your package and you want to call stuff inside of inst, um, well, the user do not have it. So 
if you called a function with, let's say, inst bob something, the user will not have inst because it will be installed and uh, they will have bob. So uh, they recommend you to use the load all of the pass package to, to play with that, to avoid the, um, this stuff. Package citation. So, uh, so it will create, if you use the use this use citation function, it will create a citation file, a blank one, where you can type stuff, or you can use the base R function from the util package, which is like basically like with every um, every R distribution, like it's the name of the function is vibe entry. And then you can type every argument. So both work like as you prefer like to, to type every argument in a function or uh, use the use uh, use citations that will create a file, then you edit the file. And it's it will generate basically what's the use this citation will generate like a citation file, which is basically calling it. So do not think it's uh, um, I, like take a few minutes and this is done. Configuration tool. So from what I understand, there's two use of configuration tool. One say official use, which is the script that's needed at compile time. But currently it's more associated with what's inside of source. Uh, so uh, they will not be present in the installed package. But no, you have a non-official so, uh, use because like what's inside of tools are not provided to users. Developers put other stuff inside of tools and they put it into um, our build ignore. So let's say like you want some, you are using like some uh, web API to want to process, or you want to remember stuff that are useful for the development. Currently what is done is people put stuff into tools and put it into the build get in your. So as an example, um, let's say, um, yeah, you are like, uh, you want to to like build some, yeah, basically color palette, stuff like that you want to use, but for yourself, for, the, for making your life easier as a developing the package, but not you do not need the user to have them. Okay. Quick summary. Package can include a lot of different file and directory. Like if you if you go on the web on the on GitHub and try like some random package, you will see it's wild. And uh, but do not be afraid. Uh, and also like there is official way and an official one. So if it's work, if if it's on Chrome, super, I assume it's it's working. And if you can like use Dev tool, download the package and working, it's fine. That's it. That's my take from this quick chapter. Up, oh, this can go. We can go now in the. So we are starting like the, the chapter about package metadata and we'll go with the description file and namespace file. Like if I just pass quickly, like, because there is like, if you remember, this is the description and here you have the namespace also here, but then let's go back. Uh, the goal here will be understand what description is and why it's important. Um, or we can declare uh, the dependency. This will be moved in the next chapters. Uh, so we'll not see it, but we'll probably just go into title, description, authors. The license will not go say it explicitly about license, but we, I will show you quickly how to do it. If you have one, in, it's not difficult, but I, I assume the next chapter with license will go more uh, into the pro and con on every license, but I haven't gone into it. Description trial. So yes, you can create, basically it's automatically create if you use the create package with my package, it will be automatically uh, added. It's basically have something like that. Uh, this is a blank version. And if you add stuff like uh, dependency, it will be here. Okay, okay, so what does your package do? It basically like what's the descript title and description do? There is 
some um, stuff that's uh, unintuitive. <laughs> so I recommend this is very well done. This is the, I haven't taken this note, but so it's supposed to be plain text. Do not be fancy. That uh, the title should be uh, capitalized like the um, first. Do not end in in a period. This it's what exactly will show up on the current page. It shouldn't uh, include another package name. Like let's say, like if your package is a is a new version of X package or not here in the description, or I will I will it will block at cram. And do not start with a package for or this package that. I think it's mostly like because it's obviously that it's a package. I do not know if it's block something if you do that, but and then the description is where you can like um, go a bit more into it. If you need more than every line I 80 uh, character, if you need more line, you just, um, you should jump them. I, and it, yeah. Great, sorry, I had a question about um, the circle. Yeah. Put the yeah. name of our packages and software inside single quotes. Yeah. You know why we need to do that? No idea. I think it's because it's parsed at some times, but they did not explain why, and I okay. have no idea why. We can ask that to Jenny if you want. Yeah, maybe they want to like emphasize um, the name of our package. I, I I do not know because like you will have it obviously in the description letters on what your package dependency. Mm -hmm. But uh, this is this is some rules, and yeah, you cannot use acronym in your title. You need to use them in the description. <laughs> There's mm. very specific rules, and I, I can't help you why. But okay. this is so. This is basically like you know you have the AS3. This is like the package name. Then the title is is that. You see here, accurate, adaptable, and accessible error metrics from predictive model. Yeah. Well, this is rules. Um, I have seen less, a uh, more esoteric one, but author. So who are you? So inside of the description, you can use R code. This is why, like, uh, inside of the authors. Here you will you will have a combine that will combine various person function and the person function get various name of arguments. And the person like have a lot of uh, arguments. That's basically like given name, family name, middle name, email, the role, which the role can take more than one. So it can be like a vector. Uh, some comments which people use to put the RRCED uh, num numbers, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So here you have an example like uh, so authors like let's say like here at Lewicam is the only authors. So to 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 use it like use the function person and then various arguments and here you have roles and. Yeah, the book went funny, but apparently, like you have a lot of potential roles that someone can have. I haven't gone through it, but they said like, yeah, you can basically be violinist of the package. It's probably possible. Uh, but this is the most common one. So the current maintainer, the author, the contributors, the copyright holders, and the founders. Okay. So. That's it. The license. So it will be a topic of the chapters, uh, let's see, uh, 12. So no need to go into that, I think. Uh, so, um, yeah. So you can use, uh, but if you want like to avoid the, um, so if you do not put license into your package, when you do a check, you get a warning, a notes, like you do not have a license. If it bothers you, you can use a license and that's it. I do not know if it's matter too much. Like, let's say, 
Uh, so I move it. Uh, no, sh it was it was not anymore. Uh, that's why I not. I I just also let people. This was like on the previous, so I let also it. Uh, I do not think like it's. We can we can see that later. Version. Um, so yes, this is another. Basically, uh, what version is your package? The integers uh, need to be separated by uh, dot or uh, dash. Both are viable option. Apparently, they recommend dots. Same, same. I can't explain why. And it starts as very, very low version. It's follow a semantics that's, uh, you, if you can, you can check here. Uh, but they all, you also like have, uh, see, this is, you can also like have like um, uh, wrapper functions that help you setting up it. Or you can do it manually. It's no, if you want to jump two versions, you can. Because at the end, it's just a text file. Uh, also, field URL and bug report. So, URL like usually a link to uh, the repo, but it can be other stuff. Uh, it will be automatically set if you use the use GitHub. For example, for my small package, I do not use it, so I will I had to I have done it manually, but uh, I I um I went like I create the uh, I do all my Git and GitHub by hand, so I do not use the GitHub uh, hey, stuff. I mean by hand. Oh, I'm low on battery. Hopefully, it will be good. Encoding, uh, yes, usually uh, highly recommended. UTF-8. I will lower like the light. Maybe it would be better. How will I get more battery? Yeah. Lazy data collates. Uh, yes. Um, so this is mostly for S4 objects. So I guess uh, I I know one example of it, but I will will go. I will not bother too much into that. Lazy data, okay. So this we have seen it in the data, and air oxygen. It's two field that specify the version of air oxygen, and all the file are gonna be generated. Hopefully, I have enough battery. Yeah. Doesn't, um, anyway, doesn't Bioconductor use S four to make their packages? Do not know. Can't tell you. In in the special world, uh, SP uses it. It's some or uh, it's uh some OOP uh oriented object uh programming for R. Mm -hmm. So, lot of things. Can't tell you. Okay, names the namespace file. This is where like. It's used to load uh, your function. Um, so it have like a bunch of. Uh, this is an example. I, I assume like pretty diverse one. But you can divide it in two category. Uh, the export, which is exported from your package and loaded, and the import one, what you bring from other package. And you have like I will not. I mean, I do not think it's matter too much, but basically when you write a function and if you use in the air oxygen, the um, tag export, it will manage it. So it will convert your uh, export call into the correct export uh, call or import call. I haven't tried, this is what they say. I have just tried like the export for basic function. So I have not tried for S3 method or like for pattern and class for S4 objects. And I have not trying also the import. So I cannot tell you how it's, if it's work well or not, but this is what they say. If it doesn't work, you can still type it them by hand or use uh, the specific one. You can also use the air oxygen specific function first. Like, But I think this is the part that wasn't fully written. Yeah, so you can check the manual if you want. Uh, you can also create your own description file uh, if you need. 
And then if you do that, it's better like to specify how you can compile it into config. That's it. Question? So quick chapters, quick, quick, I mean, quick chapters, yes. I will stop sharing maybe. Apparently no, I was clear. I have no questions. Well, yeah. <laughs> I yeah. think you, you have to practice and then you, or build a package to actually. Yeah, also <laughs> like, I think like most of the tech you should take is like, you know, you have rules and then people like, as long as it doesn't break, I think like you have like some hard rules, for example, like the inst installed package, which you should uh, be careful of what you put inside of it because it puts it at the top root of the package repository. And if you put the <laughs> Did he run out of battery? Uh Z picked up. Okay. I found this on the web for Z. Check it out. You there? Yeah, I, I am. Yeah. Olivia. I think maybe his battery it ran out. Yeah, I, th I feel like his battery died. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Should we like wait a couple minutes and then yeah. <laughs> feels like end the meeting? <laughs> yeah. Oh, he left. He left. At least he finished his presentation. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave a message on the channel. Okay. And have you started building a, a package? Or have you ever done? Uh, I have something that I built at an internship, but I had started it before I started this book club. So um, I think I will maybe incorporate what I learned from this book in my next package. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Have you? No, I haven't started. I, I think I'm going to um, start uh, after the Christmas holidays that I have some days off. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Yeah, work's been a bit crazy right now, so <laughs> I haven't had much time. Oh yeah. What what uh, what sort of work do you do? I'm uh, I work at a bank, but I'm in the you know analytics department. So, uh -huh. uh, well, I, I've been doing a lot of um, like uh, we do the um, like the uh, I don't know holiday promotions work. Credit cards and debit cards. Mm -hmm. I see. So you must like be an expert in credit cards and debit cards. No, the, it's uh, no. I'm. <laughs> I I only know. I started last year, but it's like a whole different world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so technical. You do like risk modeling. No, I, I I'm in in the commercial side, so I do the um, like the like qu quantifying the um, uh, like marketing like the the, the marketing discount. We, we do a lot of promotions with uh, um, like I, uh, like retailers and yeah other stores. Yeah, so I'm in that side. I see.
-hmm. Yeah, I just got a credit card like a few months ago and I didn't realize there were so many like deals with all these like retailers and restaurants and yeah <laughs> especially in this time of year oh yeah yeah that makes sense mm -hmm. I, have to, I have to start using all the the points that i got from the use of chase uh -huh. so yeah chase has a uh, well I, i'm in, in guatemala so we don't have a chase but um yeah they, they are like we always uh, try to see what they're doing because they have a lot of good promotions oh really i see yeah especially for traveling they just i think last year started giving like uh you you uh now you have to pay for check bags so they if you use their credit card they they give that from, uh, like uh, i think one check bag for free so oh, you don't yeah. have to pay it mm -hmm. Wow. They have really nice deals, for especially for people who travel. Yeah, because I, I just learned that you can like buy plane tickets on the Chase mobile app. Mm -hmm. So maybe I should buy a plane ticket and see if they can pay for the check bag. Yeah, you, you should. Uh, I, I don't know exactly how it works, but yeah, yeah, I read that they have that. Okay. So your banks like they're benchmarking. Chase. Yeah, we we benchmark uh, from all over the world. But uh, I I remember Chase having uh, I remember Chase because uh, we are trying to see if we we could do something like that. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. That's interesting. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I don't know if he's coming back. So. Yeah, he he said that his battery dies, died. Oh, okay. But I think we were good, so I think that means we're gonna end the meeting. Okay, chatting till next week. I think I have to go now till next week. See you all okay. next week. Okay. Bye. Okay, see bye. You. Bye, everyone.